Let me very quickly show you how you can do a dot density map that's very similar to what the Cooper Center provided. Um, in this case, you can see I have a choropleth of the Denver urban area up by, it's currently by percent Latinx, but <clears throat> if I were to right click on that baked shape file and copy it and then paste it under layers, basically gets reproduced, but in this, uh, and I'll just uncheck that one. In this top one, for example, I can double click and symbology, but instead of graduated colors, I can go to dot density. And here is where you want to not use percentages, but the actual raw counts of people. So you can see white NH down here is the number of white non-Hispanic people. And I can arrow that over, black NH, arrow that over. I'm just gonna do sort of um, larger populations here. So um, these particular populations. Now, what I usually do is I, they're a little hard to see, but these are lightly colored dots. If I were to switch this to something darker, you can sort of see, but I actually prefer to kind of double click on each of these and set it to a particular color. And I'm just gonna use the Cooper Center uh, dot uh, color scheme. So blue for white, green for black, uh, Asian red, and Latinx gold. And then the other thing you have to keep in mind is um, I would set the, originally just set the dot size to two and the dot value will vary. Um, I would start off by putting it at about 25. So each dot represents 25 people of each of those categories. Um, and you could mess around, it really depends on if you have a really highly dense city or not, you might wanna switch that to more. So if it's really high de highly dense, you might wanna to go to 50 or even 100. But just let's see what that looks like. And again, what it does is it randomly distributes each of those dots within its census tract. So that's not exactly where each person or 25 people of a particular race or ethnicity live. They're randomly distributed within their census tracts. But, it, it, you know, you can sort of see how um, you can see the Latinx population. You can see the African-American population here in North Denver and then also here over here in Aurora and East Denver. And you can sort of see how the white population has largely suburbanized itself. Um, except for this sort of um, central location near Wash Park and um, Cherry Creek, things like that. So, um, you know, that's just an alternative way of being able to look at all the different race and or a lot of the different race and ethnic groups all at once. I'm not advocating that you even do this for your uh, project. I think it's perfectly fine if you want to do core plot maps. This is more of a just a kind of um, quick tutorial on how you can do something neat that um, you sort of saw in um, the Cooper Center data, but you can do it here.